So can the MacBook Air M2 edit videos? Well, of course it can, but the real question is, how long are you going to be waiting for those exports to go down when you're finished up with your project and you're ready to get it up on YouTube? You are lucky because you're looking for a MacBook right now when we've got the M1 chips, the M2 chips out there. These things are blazing fast and you are just gonna be saving tons of time, which adds back to your own quality of life. If you're just getting into video editing, you don't really wanna go crazy with these computers yet. You wanna build up the basics, you wanna start with something in your price range, something that you can afford, but something that's gonna also let you grow and be able to achieve what you want. This new M2 Air is really cool. I really like it. It's super small, super portable. It's got the new M2 chip, which is blazing fast. But I am also very interested in, can this thing edit? Is this the ultimate traveling editing workstation right here? Let's find out. Let's put it through some paces. I'm gonna put it up against a MacBook Pro 14 inch, which has the M1 Max chip in it. It's fully loaded. It's not the best comparison of these two, but you'll at least be able to see where that 2,000, 1,500 bucks will get you in the amount of time and how fast these exports really go. Let's check out real fast what the M2 Air has that will be helpful or not be helpful for video editing. You've got two USB-C ports here, and that's not much, so that means that you're gonna be in dongle land a lot. When you need to import your footage from the SD card, when you need to export something through HDMI, you're gonna need the dongle. And you're also gonna, probably gonna need a hub to get this up onto a big monitor if that's what you wanna do. So welcome to dongle land with the M2 Air. In the MacBook Pro, they give you an SD card reader, they give you an HDMI port, they give you three USB-C ports, so you can easily plug one straight into your monitor for that. You at least get the MagSafe charger on this now. You have a new Liquid Retina display for this M2 Air. It is very nice, it's just like the MacBook Pros. Footage looks really amazing on this. The M2 chip is really blowing my mind because I'm just scrubbing through 4K footage. It's not jumpy, it's not lagging, so I'm really interested to see how this does in the editing suites. This is bumped up to the full RAM capabilities, which is 24 gigabytes. Might be a bit of an overkill, but like I mentioned, I wanted to see if this would be the ultimate traveling laptop for me. So if you're willing to give up some speed and time for your exports for portability, and weight, this thing definitely wins. This thing, just like the name, weighs barely anything. Uh, you put it in your bag, you don't even know you have it, so. We already know that this M2 Air is the perfect office work crusher. You can check out my review up here of it. If you do most of your stuff at the office, on the internet, this is the computer for you. For video, photo, motion graphics, mm, I don't know, you might wanna bump it up. Now I do love knowing that when I put the MacBook Pro 14 in my backpack that I have a machine that is completely capable of editing anything I want and being so fast. It is the fastest laptop I've ever used in my life. So definitely check out the review of the MacBook 14 as well if you want to spend a little more and have some room to grow. And that is those intermediate video photo folks that I'm thinking of right now. When it feels like you've outgrown your britches a little and your apps and your video editing software are a little chunky and the exports are taking long, then you know it's time to step up your game. But we're gonna get into all that later on in the video. So for now, we're gonna fire up Premiere Pro. I've downloaded the most recent versions of the stable firmware for both from CC Cloud. Both are up to date and ready to go. Hopefully this is a good test because there's going to be layers and layers of 4K video from the Panasonic S1H that I'm shooting on right now and the Panasonic S5 that I use for my B-cam. So in we go into time-lapse world. All right, here we go. If motion graphics is something that interests you, let's check out an After Effects template that I downloaded from Motion Array. I will put the link in the description down below for you to check out if you wanna download it for yourself and test it up against your system. 
I do recommend that all video folks should have a subscription to one of these stock footage, template, everything sites. They really help you out in a pinch and clients will see this stuff and think you're a hero. You don't have to tell them that it's a template. So if you're not so into Adobe and DaVinci is more your style, don't get me wrong, I love black magic. I've been a user of DaVinci for a long time. It's just not my jam for editing, but let's check out how long it would take to export a 4K clip into something smaller like a 1080 clip for YouTube. So good luck everyone with your editing journey, your computer decision, and just remember if you're on the fence about any of this stuff, there is nothing wrong with waiting. Waiting is actually the best bet because we know that in September, we know that these M2 chips are gonna be dropped into the old MacBook Pro models and chassis. That's what they did with the 13 inch. You know they're gonna do it again. So waiting a little while for the M2 chips to really get the RAM that they need to really fly, that might be the best bet right now as of August 2022. Wait for the big announcement in September coming up. We might even be seeing some of these M1 Max chips in the refurbished section where you can definitely get a good deal on all that stuff. My personal opinion is that you probably will outgrow the M2 Air really fast if you're doing video editing stuff. So if you need a computer right now, definitely look at those MacBook Pros. If you need something for the office internet work, the M2 Air is a crusher. So folks, if I can ask for your support and your help right now, I really need you to hit that subscribe button down below. All of the people that are watching my videos are not subscribers, which is very funny to me, but I want you to be subscribers. I want you to join this journey with me. I wanna help you guys out so you don't waste your money like I have for years. We're, we're buying all these things to make our art, to make our work, and it's nice when we can all help each other on YouTube, in the comment section, and just really get the best deals that we can with this tech and our money. So if you could please hit that subscribe button down below, I would appreciate it immensely. I wanna thank you all for watching this video. You all rock, thank you very much, and I hope to see you at the next one. Take care.